believe most of the people are well aware of quite addictive games like Subway Surfers or Temple Run, where you run endlessly from the inspector and his dog or the crazed monkeys, dodging obstacles, collecting points and bonuses. You can run all you want and may successfully avoid all the hurdles, but you can qualify for the next level only by collecting specified number of coins. Life, too, is like a game. You run till you die, but a successful life is the game you've scored to the maximum. And the only way to do so is by keeping yourself aware of every incoming coin and availing it to the score. And by coins, I mean opportunities. Talking about how important the word opportunity is, it is simply a chance, and you do not get it often. But if by sheer fortune, you do stumble upon an opportunity, standing and knocking itself at your door, you will not avail it. Do you know why? Because opportunities always look trivial when it comes, but looks huge when it passes by unavailed. Most of the people miss great opportunities because of their misperception of time. Do not wait. The time will never be just right. Sometimes there is no next time, no timeouts, and no second chances. Sometimes it's now or never. Opportunities are never lost. Someone will take the ones you miss, so seize the moment. Because it's always better to look back on life and say, I can't believe I did that, than to look back on life and say, I wish I did that. Think for yourself. If you don't avail an opportunity, where will you wind up? The answer is right where you stand now. But you never know where you'll end up if you take the chance. It can be better or worse. Besides, how worse can be worse? No worse than slipping a chance. That I guarantee. And better. Need we say more? Let's rewind the tape and go back to my life 20 months ago. August 2014, sitting on my couch and sipping on my lemonade, I learned about an exchange program through my brother. At that point, I didn't know what exchanges are. So just to get an idea, I began researching and discovered that I was even eligible to apply for it. Deeming it a very different experience, as well as a healthy competition, I took a leap of faith and put in my application. It was Canadian Luger Youth Exchange and Study Program that was initiated after 9-11 by State Department. At that time, I was a very sensitive, reserved, and shy girl. The kind of girl who used to get depressed over these little things and cry like crazy. I used to look up to my mother and father for every single thing. And I would not hesitate to say that I used to depend on my parents, my family, for everything. Two months later, I received a letter that I was shortlisted to compete with participants from all over the country. I was very excited. I had to go through this pretty long process of testing and interviews and health checks and not to forget the paperwork I had to do and 11 shots. March 2015, I was selected as the finalist for the program. I was beyond happy. Looking at my parents and their proud faces, I felt like I had achieved everything in my life. My parents signed the acceptance form right away and passed it on to me. The moment I held the pen, I don't know what happened. I couldn't do it. I was scared. Just the thought of leaving my family Leaving my parents gave me goosebumps and my hands were shaking. For a moment, I closed my eyes, took a deep breath, and signed the form. And it was not long after when I realized what was waiting for me. My life in Pakistan was pretty simple. I was a nerd, a very hardworking student, writer, debater, and journalist for a magazine. Going to school in the morning, coming back around 3, and spending the rest of the day studying is pretty much all I used to do. I was happy. I was very happy. My parents loved me. 
They have worked hard all their life just to give my siblings and I a good life and a meaningful future. And in return, all they've always wanted is for us to have something big in our lives, a big achievement. And this is one of the main reasons why I applied for this exchange program. I was happy, I had everything, but I was not satisfied. Something in my life was missing. Something that I was looking for. Before my departure, I was discouraged by most of the people whom I thought would be so happy to hear about my achievement. It was hard. It was really hard. But then, on August 4, 2015, I left Pakistan. The hardest moment in my entire life when I was standing in front of my parents with my back towards them, and I was crying while they were smiling. At that time, I realized that I am not only leaving my parents behind. I am not only leaving my family behind. I was leaving a part of myself. I departed a couple hours later. Reese DC stayed there for a few days and flew to Michigan. Then I realized my life had changed and the world opened up for me. From then till now, it has been nine months. Nine months and I am a completely different person. Nine months have been a roller coaster ride of emotions and unexpected happenings. From being in the hospital for the first time ever in my life to managing every single thing for myself. From waking up to the news of the death of my very close friend to walking in the school hallways and having people tell me about the bomb blast in my country. I think I have had enough happen to me during my exchange that I would never even have imagined before coming here. And this is not it. A lot more happened. But then, I got a new family. Who knew one day I'd have a Japanese-American family? My host mom, who has always believed in me, and my host dad, who has been the greatest inspiration I've ever had. Three of the cutest host siblings that you will ever get. My best friends are from Germany, France, and US. Now I have family all around the world. Now I have the best bonds of friendship and love. Now I am happy, but more importantly, now I am satisfied. Because now I am the ambassador of Pakistan, my country. Saying yes to an opportunity is just the beginning. The second and more important step is to show commitment and determination to your stance. You will fall again and again, but every single time you get up, you will be stronger and aware. The harder you play, the better you become. Hardships will teach you to survive. It will teach you the meaning of independency. Every morning, you have two choices. Continue to sleep with your dreams, or to wake up and chase them. If you're not willing to risk the usual, you'll have to live with the ordinary. Risk it. A ship is always safe in the harbor, but that is not what a ship is built for. In exactly 47 days, I will leave United States. As much as I'm happy and excited to see my family, I am sad to leave my family here. That shy, sensitive, and reserved girl who entered United States is now leaving as a strong and independent girl who believes in herself. All because of that one opportunity that knocked on her door, that one opportunity that she worked hard for, that one opportunity that she was scared of, but the, the leap of faith she took anyway. One day, Sitting on my porch, gray-haired, wrinkled face. I'll be telling all this to my grandchildren. This is the legacy I am leaving behind. Now think, what legacy are you leaving behind? Thank you.